Hello Sagittarius, welcome to a you and them love reading. We're going to be doing a love reading um, where we look at what's going on in your connection at this time and how you feel about each other. What are your current, the current energies between you and the person you are currently thinking about or connecting with at this time. As always, these readings are general, so they will not resonate with every Sagittarius watching 100%. So take what resonates for you, what applies to you and leave the rest. You can also check out your other placements, your moon, your rising sign, any other sign of significance for you. I have all of the playlists linked in the description box in case you are interested. Sometimes those, res those messages resonate more than your sun sign. All right, let's jump right in for Sagittarius. Spirit angels guide messages, please. For Sagittarius. I need to know for Sagittarius regarding love at this time. What's going on in their connections at this time? What's going on in their connections at this time? Imprisonment, first card out. Main female at the bottom of the deck. So I'm getting someone that's uh, prevented from going after something, maybe feels stuck in a situation What else do we need to know about this connection at this time? That was my dog Henry in the background. Toil and labor. Okay, so I feel like whatever this is, someone's working on extricating themselves, removing themselves, opening this door. Maybe this would take a lot of energy, a lot of time. Um, maybe they're tired too, um, exhausted from the situation they are in. And I say they because this is what's going on in your connection. So both of your energies are here. What else, what else do we need to know about this connection for Sagittarius? What else do we need to know? What else do we need to know? I'm also getting that for a small number of you, this person could be trapped because of something to do with work or school, but I, I'm getting more work. So it's almost like um, their job keeps them somewhere or something to do with their job. This could be finances too, but I'm just getting like a job. Um, so for example, maybe this is someone whose job keeps them far away or they have to be in a certain place because it's close to their job. I don't know, I feel like the job is, for some of you, it's like really coming out here. What else do we need to know about this connection for Sagittarius? Patiently waiting. Hmm. Someone's waiting for things to maybe improve. Waiting for someone to make a decision to, maybe somebody's waiting to have um, freedom. Budding romance, new love, romance, courtship, romance is in the air. And bottom of the deck, difficult decision. So that's probably why courthouse was here too, at the bottom of this Kepper deck. Because courthouse is um, kind of like uh, decisions, um, official decisions, negotiations, contracts, paperwork, you know. That's kind of what this card symbolizes. And be beyond, be beyond that. Behind that is despair. <laughs> so I do feel like someone possibly is patiently waiting, um, but really the waiting is probably because they haven't made a decision or they need to make a very difficult decision here. Um, regarding love, this is related to love in some way with budding romance here. Now, budding romance is a card about new love, courtship, you know, starting something new. Um, it's a card about something that is developing. So we'll have to see what that's about. This could be new love, all like, like a whole new romance, you know, between you and this person, or it could be maybe starting things over from the beginning. Let's see what we get with the tarot. Spirit, can we get some insight, please, for Sagittarius? What do we need to know? Let me see if I can actually shuffle this deck. Okay, it's very stiff, so. Do we need to know for Sagittarius? What else do we need to know? What else do we need to know for Sagittarius? 
What do we need to know about their current energies and the energies between Sagittarius and this other person? Let's see what we get. Okay, so in your, the energies in your connection, we have three of cups, 10 of swords, page of wands. Wow, all upright. By the way, um, you know, just because you have reversals in a reading doesn't mean that there's anything wrong. Um, but because I do shuffle my decks the way that I do, they're all over the place. I do make a note of when there's no reversals because that, that tells me that there's possibly not a lot of challenges or delays or the message is a little clearer. So what I'm getting here with the Ten of Swords and the Page of Wands is like an ending that leads to a new in initiative, a new beginning. This could be a reunion with the Three of Cups. This could be coming together. So we'll see what that's all about when we get to it. So on your side, I'm going to put two cards down and then on your person's side, two cards down. Um, feel free to flip these energies if they resonate more for you. Bottom of the deck, we have the Chariot, Cancer Energy. This is very interesting because, once again, I feel like there's momentum here um, towards something new uh, with the Page of Wands. The Page of Wands is willing to take risks. The Page of Wands is willing to, to just, I mean, they just want to get out there and get things started. They're ready for an adventure. They don't really think too much about, like, the details. It's more about getting out there right taking those first steps that's the page of wands and the chariot it's telling me it's like this movement this moving forward this direction that someone is on whatever path they're on it's quick they want to move quickly they want to move fast oh, let me do that again okay let's um clarify these tell me about the three of cups what's this about Why is the Three of Cups here? The High Priestess. Five of Pentacles. I feel like this is the person that is um, out uh, dealing with whatever difficulty they're dealing with here with imprisonment. Someone that's out in the cold, financial difficulty, struggling. The Five of Pentacles, there's been some sort of a loss. They're needing something, the Five of Pentacles. They need help, assistance. They need um, financial resources. They need to be um, a warm shelter. You know, there's a need here. So I feel like this person is like looking for something. But why is the High Priestess here with the Three of Cups? Can I get one more for the Three of Cups, please? I literally, with the High Priestess and the Five of Pentacles, I'm getting someone that is, there's, they're, they're cut off. Silence. This could also be happening behind the scenes with the High Priestess. We have the Two of Cups, so this is about a partnership or relationship. And then we have the Eight of Pentacles. I'm telling you, someone's job is important here. For some of you, it's the job that makes things difficult or it has someone in this Five of Pentacles energy. For others of you, I think this is just someone working on something. They're making an effort and it's related to this partnership. What's behind this? Strength, wow, Leo energy, yeah. Strong effort here. Strength is more of like a mental effort, is uh, looking at things, or, or how do I say, uh, using a different approach to get to your goal or to turn things around. You would use inner strength, patience, a different method. So someone here is working on getting out of this situation because of a partnership is kind of what I'm picking up on. Now, with the High Priestess, it could be that this is happening behind the scenes. It could be that someone's doing this secretly, this goal that they're going after. It's a secret goal, something like that. Tell me about the Ten of Swords. Difficult endings with the Ten of Swords. Why is the Ten of Swords here? Wow, Knight of Cups. What in the world? Why is the Ten of Swords here? Why is the Ten of Swords here? Six of Swords, yeah. So this is someone that's leaving a situation. 
um, after a difficult ending. They could be leaving home, moving out, um, wanting something more stable, calmer, more peaceful with the Six of Swords. That's the whole point of leaving. You're leaving the choppy waters for the calmer waters. Can I get one more for the Ten of Swords, please? Why is the Ten of Swords here? Wow, Ten of Pentacles. So this could be somebody that's leaving a long-term commitment or something stable, right? Or this is where they're headed towards. What's at the bottom of the deck? Wow, the world. Yeah, this is some. This is a, a, a whole cycle for someone that's beginning something new. I feel like they're leaving a situation to start something new. Again, this could be you, Sagittarius, or your person. Um, or this could be them leaving a third person or a third party because the Three of Cups is here, although I'm not getting that very strongly. I just don't, I don't really get this energy of someone else at this time. We'll see what happens, but with the rest of the energies, but that's, that's kind of what I'm getting here is that, that someone's just leaving a situation, a place, a job perhaps, and doing a physical move possibly with the chariot here. Tell me about the Page of Wands. Why is the Page of Wands here? Justice. Wow. Libra energy. Someone that is wanting to make things right. Balanced. Four of Cups. Hmm. I think that this person is afraid. Hmm. Why is the Page of Wands here? Yeah, Seven of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles. I have the Ten of Cups here. I think this is someone afraid. Um, they're, I, like I sense worry. They're worried about this new initiative, possibly because they are interfering or... How do I say this? It, it, inter, it's kind of like interfering with their stability, but I know there's a better way of saying that. <laughs> um, it, it's almost like, I don't know. They're questioning things. They're trying to make choices that lead them to a specific, like to success, right? And with justice, I almost get the sense that this is a decision or a choice that they want to make without emotions, right? It's just what's right, what's fair, what's the objectively better choice. But um, the Four of Cups, as soon as I saw it, I thought this is someone that is insecure, they are possibly they possibly go back and forth about this choice like you know maybe one day they want to make a certain choice and the other day they don't and i think it's because of something to do with material there's something here with the material um i don't know what this is but it's almost like they're really concerned about status money stability this queen of pentacles um i just get the sense that it represents what they want to obtain or what they want to preserve right and so it's like how do i how do i not make this so difficult for me that i you know I, it's almost like they don't want to make things harder than they are but i also get the sense that that means that it kind of keeps them from pulling the trigger too they could also be thinking about family ten of cups or something to do with children. They could be thinking about their own happiness. Let's see, what's this Four of Cups about? Can I get one more, please? For this Four of Cups. What do we need to know, Spirit, about the Four of Cups? Six of Cups. The past? Some, some of you, this is children. Someone has children, and they're thinking about that. But I think this is more about they don't want to possibly repeat past mistakes or they're thinking of the past they could also be thinking um of you here or you're thinking of them with the six of cups because the two of cups came out so like a soulmate energy here a special partnership something very precious and i have a i have a feeling that that's why they're probably so insecure they might not want to lose this um, or they might not want to repeat a past mistake so let's go down here to your energies on your side, we have the Three of Swords and the Two of Wands Reverse. And on their side, 
we have the hangman and the ten of cups reversed yikes okay not I feel like you're mirroring each other you're both heartbroken but why you're both upset or heartbroken you have the three of swords they have the ten of cups reversed okay can I get some energies please for Sagittarius and their person can you tell us can you tell us for Sagittarius and their person Tell me about Sagittarius, the energy that Sagittarius is bringing to this connection. Closed off. Tell me about the person Sagittarius is dealing with. Hidden feelings. So again, mirroring each other. You're both in the same boat, but I don't understand why. you're closed off or you think of this person as being closed off possibly because they're hiding how they feel or they're silent that's the high priestess energy hmm okay get one more i get one more about the connection what do we need to know about this connection? What do we need to know about this connection or the energies from this person? Oh, what do we need to know? Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. You could be dealing with an air sign, but what I'm getting here is like, what an air sign represents communication intellect truth clarity i think that's what's missing here there's something that hasn't been addressed there's something that's been kept held like someone's holding back but it's 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 more than that it's like um Okay, I'm picturing a key in a door. So um, it, it's almost like there's um, the truth will open this door. Or uh, it's, not, it's not enough to talk to this person. Clarity is needed. And that clarity will open a door. What's this? Please forgive me. I love you and I can't let you go. I'm confused. Okay. So I see you in my dreams at the bottom of the deck. Okay, so what I'm getting here, Sagittarius, just to simplify everything and just get, you know, move on here. Um, you're not in contact with this person. If you are in contact with this person, you're not talking about the right things. Um, I feel like you're, you haven't talked to this person in some time, most of you. Um, I think there's confusion here because there's no clarity. And that's why you're both not doing well emotionally. You and this person, you're not doing well emotionally. There's possibly been um, some sort of ending between you with the Ten of Swords there. Forgiveness is needed. This person, I feel, can't let you go. I feel like you still have emotions for each other. And I feel like um, on your side, too, now you have the Two of Wands reversed. So this is about a decision. I think a decision that this person made or, ha or a decision this person has not made has hurt you. And they are still hanging stuck somewhere with the hangman. So I don't think that things have changed recently between you and this person. I feel like something must have happened in the recent past and you're both dealing with it now. Um, hmm. But there's confusion because there's a lack of clarity. So let's see, let's, let me see if I can get some clarity here on your side. Why the three of swords and the two of wands reverse? Why is the Three of Swords here with the Two of Wands reverse? Ten of Swords, yeah. There was an ending, a separation or a feeling of betrayal. You've been hurt by someone, which I feel is this person. Yep, the Fool. However, I feel like you still want, some of you want to be free of this pain and others of you, you still hope for a new beginning. Okay. Page of Wands came out reverse. Okay, I'm going to leave it there, even though I don't have reversals in this deck. 
and ten of wands yeah you're not dealing well with what's happened um possibly because nothing and i feel like even if this ending was in the in the very distant past let's say that this ending happened a long time ago you're still hoping for action to be taken now but nothing has happened page of wands reverse a lot of tens here 10 10 10 the zero with the fool and then the page of wands reverse so i feel like there's something that's almost like um coming to a climax here or or a, a cycle that hasn't okay so what i'm trying to say is if this ended in the past it didn't really end <laughs> i know that's probably not any clearer but that's what i'm trying to say even though there's tens here and the fool is here there was no closure here i feel like you're still tore up by what happened and yet still hoping for a new beginning here and yet nothing is there's no action being taken page of wands reverse and i don't know if you're hurt about that as well or if this is just all wrapped up together some of you could be thinking well i would just like to move on and see what else is out there for me because nothing's happening here i can see that but i get the sense that someone's imprisoned so your person might be stuck somewhere and that makes things difficult for you because they're not able to end their situation or they're taking forever to end their situation. That could be a possibility. Um, and maybe you're tired of waiting and you just kind of want to move on. But I feel like a lot of you can't. You're still carrying this burden and it's an emotional one. I feel you still love this person. So let's look over here. Why is the hangman here with the Ten of Cups reverse? Why is the hangman here with the Ten of Cups reverse? Five of Wands. Why is the hangman here with the Ten of Cups? Drama, conflict. Nine of Pentacles, Two of Wands. Okay, can I get one more? The hangman. The Emperor, Aries energy, yeah. Bottom of the deck, there's the Queen of Swords. That is exactly what's in the middle of you and this person. The Queen of Swords. Now, I like that she's come up with the Emperor because um, they're both a very um, direct people. The Emperor and the Queen of Swords. They're both very... I don't know. They don't mess around, basically. If you want to have a, a serious conversation with someone, you would want to have it with these two. Now, your person over here, they have the Emperor and um, the Two of Wands here. So I get the sense that they're trying to at least be... First of all, the Emperor is somebody that's very mature. Um, the Emperor is a doer. The Emperor is someone that you can count on to fix a situation or deal with a problem. So with the Two of Wands here in the Emperor, I'm getting good energy. I'm getting somebody that is evaluating things, thinking about things, and it's this Five of Wands. I feel like this person wants to be free of the drama. They don't want to deal with the drama anymore, and I feel this drama could be at home. I feel like this is the difficulty that maybe they're leaving this in the past, but the Hangman is here. So I don't think they've completely made this decision yet. Tell me about the Five of Wands. Three of Pentacles and the Empress. Wow. Queen of Wands at the bottom of the deck. So I feel like there could be another person here. It could be a parent, a friend, a ex-partner, current partner, family member. The drama is at home, I feel, or at work. There's just not, they're not doing well where they're at. Tell me about the Emperor about the emperor yeah five of cups this emperor he's thinking about the past he's thinking about his mistakes and his losses there has been some sort of a loss here tell me about the two of wands yeah eight of pentacles again so this is someone that's really working on a new path or on this decision they have to make maybe this decision has repercussions consequences right so it's not one they can make lightly. Tell me about the Two of Wands. The Hermit. Yeah, they're really thinking about this. Virgo energy. Nine of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So they're thinking about emotional fulfillment, satisfaction, and success. 
So this person, they're in a shitty, forgive my French, they're in a shitty situation. So they're trying to figure out a way out, out of that. Um, but I feel like this person has a lot of regrets and they don't want to repeat that cycle of making choices and having it lead to more regret. So this is going to be a situation where they really look at their options and make a decision and that will take some time with the eight of pentacles that's what the eight of pentacles is telling me that this option it will take work you know or whatever choice they make there's work behind it or work after it something like that thank you so much for watching sagittarius i hope you enjoyed this reading hit that like button and, sub and subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you all in another video very soon take care